how much weight can you lose per week and exactly how many weeks or months is going to take you to go from wherever you are today to the absolute best shape of your life however you define that state so that's what we're going to cover in this video but before we go there please click the subscribe button below because on this channel you're going to learn how to get in the best shape of your life without starvation misery cutting out carbs steroids or any other shenanigans that you know fitness gurus normally tell you you have to do to be in shape What's up guys, this is Coach Amir from 7figurebody.com and in today's video we're going to talk about what is the normal or let's say sustainable enjoyable rate of fat loss. So when we say weight loss, I'm obviously uh, talking only about losing body fat. What is the rate of fat loss that you can expect? Because it's really, really important to know what is realistic because we know that if you set unrealistic goals, even if you do everything perfectly, it's not gonna work out the way you wanted to and planned, but it's not really your fault. It's just that wasn't even you know possible to begin with. So then you're basically setting yourself up for failure. So despite what you may have heard from the keto zealots and all the other you know low carb, you know, zealots or vegans or who knows what else that you can lose 15 pounds in a week and whatnot. In reality, over here in the real world, you can lose about one to one and a half, maybe let's say one to two pounds of fat per week as a male and about, yeah, let's say around a pound of body fat per week as a woman. Again, before we go deep into this, I wanna say that these are average numbers. Yes, some people can lose more. A lot of people, when everything is set up properly, are gonna be right around there in that ballpark. And of course, yes, I have seen and heard of, you know, Biggest Loser, where morbidly obese people, four, 500 pounds, that are basically starved to death and forced to, you know, like a concentration camp to do eight hours of exercise a day. Yes, they lose whatever, 10, 13 pounds a week. I know that, but first, they all regained the weight. We know that, number one. Number two, how realistic it is for you to first be basically locked up so these people can't they're, they're not living in a you know like free living conditions where they can go and eat whatever they want during that show no they're locked up the, this is literally like concentration camp where they are locked up and given whatever they're given six or eight hundred calories a day these morbidly obese people who are like weigh a lot so they should be eating multiples of that every single day uh, you know, just to maintain the weight, they're eating basically put on below starvation level calorie intake, number one, and two, they are basically forced to do hours and hours of exercise every day. And because of that, because the fat loss is way, way, way too fast, all of these people, at least vast majority of them, regain all the weight. So we should definitely not take that as an example of what you should be losing. And this is one of the biggest issues that I see. Somebody, you know, reaches out to me and says, hey coach, I've seen, you know, this and this and that. So I have like 30 pounds to lose. Given what I've seen on the, you know, uh, Biggest Loser show, that probably means like three weeks and I'm done, right? 30 pounds in three weeks. Uh, no, that's not how it works. Unless, you know, you really want to like basically almost kill yourself and then regain all the weight right after, don't, you know, knock yourself out, have fun. But over here in my world where, you know, like I'm a coach who's been doing this my whole life, basically, I haven't done anything else my whole life. Uh, and I actually get people shredded. And basically we together build habits that allow them to stay in that awesome shape for the rest of their lives. This is the most important part because as you guys probably know, if you've ever done any diet, we really don't have a problem helping people to lose weight. Even the dumbest of diets out there are going to probably get you to lose some weight. But maintenance of that new weight, so keeping the weight off is what we really, really have issues with. And I always say how you lose the weight determine whether you keep the weight off or not. And of course, if you do anything extreme, know that the body and brain, so both our physiology and psychology, do not like extremes. So if you cut out complete food groups like veganism or keto or carnivore, that's probably going to be extremely, extremely, extremely unlikely that you can sustain that for not just forever, but let's say just for five years, you're not gonna do that. Same thing with starving yourself, same thing with cutting out all the foods that you really like and just eating chicken and broccoli. Just like, you know, if you look at every group that is doing whatever diet, you can see that first majority of people do not stick to the diet long enough to lose any weight simply because the diet is set up wrong, it's nonsensical. Uh, it's like misery, suffering, all of this. And even if they do lose any weight, almost all of them regain all the weight back. 
Why? Because the mass diets are set up in a way that actually, basically you're, you're you know, playing a game where you have no chance to win. It's rigged against you, it completely is, simply because the diets are set up in such a wrong, unsustainable, unrealistic way. So, of course, the best example of that is Biggest Loser Show, right? So how realistic is it that somebody's gonna lock you up for I don't know how many months, force you and scream and yell at you for eight hours a day to do exercise until you pass out and feed you, you know, six out, 600 calories a day, which is like below starvation calorie level intake, even for a very, very small petite woman. So how likely is it that you can do that? Number one. And number two, even if you could, you know that you're gonna regain all the weight back because once you go back to normal life, like all of these people who win the Biggest Loser show a year or two later, they're now heavier than they were before the show. What's the point? Why did you, you know, do all of this misery and suffering for? Well, you can say, well, they did it to be on TV and maybe to win a prize, whatever they mean, win a million bucks or I don't know what it is. Sure, for that, great. But he, over here in the you know successful entrepreneurs world, that is like, when you look at that, it's just the whole thing just makes no sense. It's a huge, 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 gigantic waste of time. So going back to the rate of fat loss, you can lose about one to two pounds of fat per week and please know, that two pounds of body fat loss per week are reserved only for people who are very overweight. So let's say for men whose body fat percentage is probably like close to or higher than 30%. For men, uh, for women, it's about, you know, probably close to 40% or higher. Those individuals can lose more body fat simply because more body fat you have to lose. Theoretically, at least, it's easier to create a bigger deficit and therefore you can lose body fat faster. Now, of course, every time when you hear someone says, oh, no, that's so not true, you know, I lost, I did keto and I lost 30 pounds in six weeks or whatever. Well, check, with, check in with them six weeks later or six months later. You'll see that 99.999% of them regained all the way. So I'm talking enjoyable, meaning while you're on that diet, you're not suffering, you're not hungry, you are never starving. You're like, not only that you're not starving, but you're never hungry. You're not cutting out your favorite foods. You're actually eating whatever you want. Basically the way I set up diets for, uh, for my clients. And then most importantly, once they lose that weight and get in great shape, they stay in that shape forever. That's what I'm talking about. So if that's something that you want, then these are the rates of fat loss that you can expect. One to two pounds per week, and I would say vast majority of people, especially males, should probably expect one to maybe one and a half pounds roughly uh, of body fat loss per week. And then if you figure out, uh, for women, it's a bit less than that, like usually half to three quarters of that is for women simply because women are physically smaller usually than men and because of that and a couple of other reasons um, you know they just simply have a harder time losing weight and because of that it takes them longer so an average woman can lose on average less body fat per week than an average man just just how physiology works has nothing to do with anything else simple you know differences in uh, genders when it comes to physiology okay now Second part of this, okay, now you know, you can lose about a pound of fat per week, maybe one and a half pounds, maybe two if you're very overweight and male, okay, maybe. Now let's, when we know that, that's the main mo most important thing for piece of data for now. Second thing is, how long is it gonna take you to get from wherever you are now to absolute best shape of your life? Well, first we have to depi define body fat percentage wise, what is the, you know, what is your kind of goal when it comes to what body fat percentage you want to reach? So here's a little uh, graphics that shows different body fat percentage ranges for men. So you can see, you know, single digit is very, very, very extremely lean. This is unsustainable for vast majority of men. You should really not want to, to get there. Every time I've gotten to like seven, eight percent body fat, this is not sustainable. Uh, on the other hand, about 10 to 15 percent is probably the ideal range not just for health, where all of your hormones, your testosterone is gonna be as high as possible, you're gonna have energy all day, you're gonna sleep great, you're basically gonna be, you know, look and feel and perform at the absolute best way, simply around like 10 to 12, 13%, maybe for some men, 15% is also fine. Uh, and that's what I suggest you know, for most men, uh, for most of my male clients, that's what I suggest to be the goal. And then also know that around 12-ish percent is where you start seeing your abs, uh, like a four pack, and then probably a bit lower than that, maybe 10, 11% you have body fat, you really have a completely ripped six pack abs. Okay, so for women, it's about eight to 10% uh, percent higher than that, simply because women naturally have higher percentage of fat and lower percentage of muscle. So for women, it's about 20 to 25% body fat that I suggest 
as a goal for most women. Now, of course, some women actually say, no, 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 I really like being at 28, 29% because I have want to have a little bit more curves. Some other uh, woman or women may, may say, no, nah, you know, that 20% is awesome, but I really want to be like fitness model lean. I want to get to 17, 18%. So be it. Whatever your goal is, uh, there's nothing good or bad about it. It's just that's your goal and that's what you should go for. Of course, along the way, as you get in there, you may uh, change. A lot of my clients always set the goal as, okay, my you know male clients are like, let's go to 10%. By the time we get them to 12% body fat, they look amazing. Six pack is there. They feel amazing. They're like, man, I feel so great. I don't need to be leaner. For women, same thing. You can also go the other way. Somebody can have a goal of you know, 12%, they get to 15% of the dog, man, I really, really feel amazing and I don't need to do anything else. I just want to keep this for the rest of my life. So be it. But what is important is if you look at these pictures of what the body fat percentage ranges for women and men are, you can roughly determine where you are right now. So what's your current body fat percentage, at least ballpark figure. So once you know that, then determine the second thing, which is what's the goal? What do you think would really, really, really be the body fat percentage range at least that you would be very happy with. And let's say you are a male and you're now at 20, 25% body fat. You're like, man, I really think that at 10%, I would be just like, it would be perfect. Okay, so then you have 25 to 10%, you gotta lose 15% of body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, basically 15% of 200 is 30 pounds. You gotta lose 30 pounds of fat and you're gonna be there. Same exact thing for women. Let's say we have a 150 pound woman and she's now at 30% body fat. She wants to be at 20%. So she needs to go from 30 to 20, that's 10% body fat to lose. 10% of 150 pound person is 15 pounds. So this woman needs to lose 15 pounds of fat and she will be at 20% body fat, which means all of her health and hormones and everything else, parameters of pretty much performance, health, looks, everything else is gonna be in the optimal range. By the way, for women, generally speaking, the fertility, ideal fertility, optimal fertility is about kind of like 22, 23% body fat. Why? Not because there's any magical number that says this, it's simply because it's the ideal middle point between being overweight and being too lean. And in another video, I'm gonna talk about why being too lean is not healthy and is actually opposite from most people uh, who have never been there, but they dream about it. They think, oh my God, if I got to like 8% body fat, I would be, you know, amazing and look like a Greek God and all of this. And in reality, the truth is very, very, very different from that. We're going to talk about that in another video. But remember now, the kind of middle range in between being too lean and being overweight is absolutely ideal for all the parameters of health, how you look, feel, energy levels, sleep, testosterone, everything else, longevity as well. So for men, generally speaking, anywhere from like, let's say 11 to 13% probably is probably would be best for most men. For women, 22 to 25%, something like that would probably be ideal for most women. And of course, genetics do matter. Somebody simply has, you know, better, uh, just genetic makeup is better. They've been blessed. This is very, very small, like five, probably 5% 5 of people in the world. Also, 5 to 10% are just screwed genetically, so it's much harder for them to do, you know, whatever they want to do with their body. And then majority, like 90, like 80, 90% of people fall into the, we just all have average genes. Like I do, you probably do. Most of us just statistically really have a high chance of just being average, you know, genes when it comes to, you know, what our parents have given us. <laughs> so that's it for this video. I hope you, you found it uh, useful and helpful simply because this way you can realistically set how long it's going to take you to lose that body fat. So let's say you want to lose that 20 pounds of fat and you're like, okay, I can lose one, maybe one and a half pounds. Okay, it's probably going to take 15 to 20 weeks to do that. So three to four months. And by the way, one thing that I can tell you from, you know, working with and helping transform over 1150 clients in the last four, almost 14 years is that on average, in three to four months from today, if you started properly today, three to four months from today, you can be a completely different person. You can have a complete body transformation where you go from wherever you are now to looking in, a way, in the way that when you're walking down the street, people that used to know you don't recognize you. That's how much you've changed for the better. You're now leaner, maybe you have a six pack. You just like look completely different. My experience from you know doing this forever, three to four months for most people for let's say, 
uh, you know, somebody who's a bit more overweight, maybe it takes five to six months. Either way, this is not a lot of time. If you have a long-term perspective, like you should as an entrepreneur, you probably already do. Remember that whether it takes you four months or five, what is that gonna matter when you ask yourself 50 years from today? Hey, back then, you know, 50 years ago, it took me four months to get in shape and I stayed in that shape for 50 years. Does it matter if it took you three months or four months or five months to get in shape if it allowed you to stay in that shape for the next 50 years? That's the approach that I want every client of mine to have and that's what I would like you to adopt as well because when you look at it from that standpoint, it's completely irrelevant whether it takes you four months or five or three or six, it doesn't really matter. Those are such small and insignificant uh, you know, lengths of time relative to the length of our life and relative to you know decades and decades from now that when you get to that point and stay in that awesome shape, it's gonna pay off a million times over. So guys, hope you like this video and if you do, please click the like button and also hit that notification bell so every time we come up with a new video, uh, you can uh, get the notification and actually see, watch that because in every video, I'm gonna share something useful that's gonna help you get in that best shape forever. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed already, please click the subscribe button and one final thing, if you like what you heard here, please check out my free training on three that is below in the description here. Uh, you can for absolutely free uh, see the three steps that I take to take any entrepreneurs from wherever they are, it doesn't matter how overweight, not overweight, you know, active, not active, little muscle, lot of muscle, doesn't matter. I take them through same three-step process to get them completely shredded. And you can check out sevenfigurebody.com forward slash case. Uh, uh, dash studies. You can see a bunch of case studies, right? So a bunch of testimonials uh, from our clients and exactly how that works in real world. And if you want to know the process that I use for every single client, you can check that out for free. Click that button below and watch the three-step process that you can use as well to get in the best shape of your life. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.